Today, we're discussing stock splits. Whether you're a seasoned investor or new to the stock market, understanding stock splits can greatly impact your investment strategies. And remember, for more detailed resources on stock splits and real-time updates, check out marketbeat.com. So let's break it down. So what exactly is a stock split? It's when a company decides to increase the number of its available shares, which aims to make the stock more liquid and more affordable without changing the company's market capitalization or your stake in the company. Most commonly with stock splits, we see a two-for-one or a three-for-one split, which means if you held one share that was worth, let's say, $60, after a two-for-one split, you'd now hold two shares that are each worth $30. Now, there are two main types of stock splits. You have the forward stock split and then the reverse stock split. So a forward stock split increases the number of shares that you own, decreasing the price per share. And a reverse split, on the other hand, reduces the number of shares and increases the price per share, which is often used by companies that are wanting to meet stock market exchange listing thresholds. So how does a stock split work exactly? Let's go through this quickly, step by step. First, a company announces a split, then they set a shareholder record date and an effective date. So if you own shares by the record date, you are going to receive new shares during the effective date directly into your brokerage account. After the split, then the market reacts, of course. Interestingly, while stock prices are adjusted, the market's reception can vary here. So historically, popular stocks like Amazon and Alphabet have seen significant trading activity around splits. Now, what are the advantages of a stock split? Stock splits can make shares more affordable and attract new investors, which can potentially drive up the share price due to increased demand. But of course, there can also be disadvantages. For example, post-split shares might sell off as the initial excitement can fade and increased share counts can lead to minimized price movements. For example, Tesla's three-for-one split in 2022 initially did peak share prices, but then they dropped significantly in a broader tech bear market, which impacted investors who held through the split. Does a stock split make a company more or less valuable? So essentially, it's a neutral event in terms of market cap. However, the reaction from the market can vary, as we mentioned, and it's crucial not to just follow the hype with these. To keep up with the stock split news and updates, check out our resources here at MarketBeat. We do provide comprehensive up-to-the-minute information and tools to track these events effectively. It's important to remember a stock split doesn't change the fundamental value of a company, but it does offer opportunities and risks in trading dynamics. So planning and understanding these events are key to making informed decisions. Thanks for watching.